Hi everyone and welcome to part 5 of how to put a robot in your films using Blender. First of all, I'm sorry this video has been delayed by a couple of weeks. I meant to release this the day after part 4, but I just ended up being really busy, so sorry about that. So anyway, in this video we're going to be taking our beauty renders from Blender and our shadow renders and compositing them in After Effects. So, the first stage is to open up After Effects and import our render. Our render is lots of individual images, so make sure you have Open EXR Sequence ticked, which will turn all of those images into a video file. Then drag that into a new composition, and by default you will see nothing, it's going to be completely black, and you won't be able to see anything until you add a plugin called Extractor and then tell After Effects what to look for in the EXR files. So set this box to be combined, and that's going to show us what is essentially our beauty render. This is the combined layers of the robot that we rendered out of Blender, and what we're going to do now is separate them into some individual layers, such as the reflections and the emissions, and that's going to allow us to tamper with the image in post to get it really, really perfect. The first thing you need to know about CGI is that when you render it, it comes out absolutely perfect. So if you zoom in, you'll see that our robot's a lot sharper than the background. To counter this, we want to add a camera lens blur, because camera lenses in real life have always a bit of imperfection to them, they're never going to be really, really crisp. So to make the CGI match the background, we have to make it a little bit softer so it's not so sharp. This is a really common visual effects practice when working with anything that's CG. Now I'm going to name this layer Robot Combined and then duplicate it so that we can start extracting the different layers. And then if you click the extractor box again, and this time change it to something like Glossy Direct, we'll be able to isolate our reflections. So what we're looking at here is purely the reflections that were rendered in Blender. So this will be reflections from the environment, highlights from the lights in the scene, and there'll be nothing else in this render layer. And if you change the blending mode to screen, that will overlay this on top of our original beauty layer. And you don't want it to be quite this strong because the reflections are already in our beauty render. So if we screen them back on top again, we're just doubling the reflections, which isn't very accurate. But what you can do then is add a curves effect and dial it in so you can decide exactly how much reflections you want to show. Here I just increased them a little bit because I thought that the reflections compared to the background were quite dark. So I just lifted them slightly with the curves effect and it makes a big difference. Then I duplicated this layer and set this one to Glossy Indirect. This is also reflections, but it's essentially secondary reflections. So this means it's light that bounces off a surface and then bounces onto the robot. So an example of this would be the light coming in from the windows, hitting the floor and then bouncing back up onto the robot. And that's why you can see this layer looks quite bottom lit. So if we change the blending mode for this layer to screen as well, that's going to put these reflections back on top. And then you can adjust the curves effect accordingly to make it match the lighting in your background. Then I duplicated this layer again, and this time I set the Extractor plugin to show the Emission Render Pass. And if we solo this layer, you can see that it's just isolating the eyes, because I set them to be a light source when I rendered it as a blender. Now we can add a blur effect onto the eye layer, which is going to give a really nice glow effect. And then you can add some colour correction and make it whatever colour you want. I used a colour balance and just increased the green highlights slightly to give the eyes a bit of a green glow. Now we need to composite in the robot shadow that we rendered earlier. Back in After Effects, go to the folder that you rendered the robot shadow into, and then make sure that you have image sequence selected when you import it, and then drag the shadow render on top of the background and underneath all of your robot layers. This is going to nicely place our shadow on top of the background and underneath the robot, and it's not going to go over the robot's feet because we set the robot to be a mask in Blender. I duplicated my shadow to make it twice as dark, and then I pressed T and changed the opacity to about 40%. I just felt that the original shadow wasn't quite dark enough to match the shadows that are from the windowsill in the background. Then with both the shadows selected, I press Ctrl, Shift, C and pre-compose them. Now I can add a camera lens blur to this as well, like I did on the robot, and set it to 0.3 to match. And because I pre-composed the shadows, this is going to apply the blur to both of those layers. And that's all there is to it. After that, you can hit render and enjoy the result. So this is what these five tutorials should have ended up with. This is what I made, but obviously yours might look quite different. I ended up looping the flip and making it into a GIF, which I posted on Instagram, which is really popular. So I hope you found these tutorials useful. You can make some really, really cool stuff with Blender, and I think it's a fantastic tool. And when you use the EXRs and bring them into After Effects and composite them properly, you can get some really, really good looking results. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you found this useful and if you'd like to see anything similar, and I will see you next time.